Well, good to see this young fighter make the walk here tonight. His takedowns are really some of the best in the game. So explosive, great technique behind them. Certainly, you see shades of his collegiate wrestling career. His opponent's got to watch out for those, but even an opponent with good takedown defense will succumb to this guy's shots. No telegraph behind him. When this guy wants to take you down, more often than not, he succeeds. This guy has incredible takedowns. The speed in which he delivers them and the power in which he executes them are world class. and really ever since his UFC debut, this is a guy that has really rung true with the modern MMA fans, a crowd-pleasing style, and he's got the takedown defense that allows him to keep the fight in his striking realm. So as the challenges get stiffer, let's see if Adesanya can continue to realize success here in the UFC. This guy has toughness that you cannot teach. He has an incredible ability to absorb punishment and the mental toughness to come back from devastating situations. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So these fighters are just a year apart with big differences in height and reach. We send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, the referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Lavey. And This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only a professional record on 12 wins, four losses. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Montreal, Quebec, Canada, Olivier Obamacia. And now we're going to see his opponent fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, but he's a professional record now. 15 wins, no losses. He stands 6 feet 4 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Israel, the last guy of Bender, Anastasia! Okay, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. This is a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place right Ready? now. I'm very Ready? excited. Well, no better way to pay homage to the history of pride in the UFC with this single night UFC Grand Prix tournament. Some of the best fighters in the world have come out. Let's see who will be the last fighter standing here tonight. Straight right hand, no a good. Nice one two with the right and the left. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, he got cracked with the jab there, Joe, and his head is firmly on the center line, the one place it really can't afford to be. He's showing some vulnerability here by leaning right into his opponent's range. Let's see if he can make some adjustments here. Hook attempt now, blocked though by Obama Mercier. Oh, nice strike landed there by Adesanya. We march on three minutes to go. Nice 
Nice punch there by Adesanya. not on that attempt. Effective punch there by Obama here. Under a minute now to go round one. Forty-five seconds to go here in round one. Nice job to get the foot off the canvas and to the target quickly. Beautiful inside leg kick by Obama Mercier. Switching stances here. 20 seconds to go in round one. Final seconds of round one. And now trying to take the back. Looking for the choke. He drops down for it. Horn sounds for the end of round one. Go and take a look at some of this action here. Here's a big leg kick. And there's a kick to the body. Perfectly placed strike here, lands on target. What a great round. This fight is really shaping up. You want to keep mixing things up. Use your punches, use your knees, use your kicks. See you work that. Brittany Palmer in the building. Are you ready? You ready? Fight. All right, round two. All right, so here we go. Second round is underway. Pretty good first round, Joe. Crowd seemed to like it. Not the greatest round you'll ever see, but good high-level action on both sides. Both fighters had their moments. We'll see, though, here in round two if there is less of a feeling out process and more of an uptick in the aggression here. Round two underway. Look at that, right to the temple. We show you the total strikes. Lands an outside leg kick of his own. Wow, what a back and forth exchange. Missed that shot. Okay. Oh. Huge left, left hand. hand. Really threw everything into that uppercut, but fell short. Well, he has landed some good shots tonight, Joe, but as yet, he has been unable to string together any solid combinations, and that has served to keep his opponent in this fight. So let's see if he can change up the tempo a little bit with his strikes and try to put together a combination that is more damaging to his opponent. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Yeah, left hook found its target. Hand speed, man. Trying to take the back here. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Sweep. Side control. Oh, there's a good shot from the bottom. Well, he's in north-south now. Let's see if he can hold it. One minute to go in the round. Oh, 
Into side control again. Full mount. He postures into place. 30 seconds to go in round two. He's in half guard. 15 seconds to go. Caught him with a punch. He's got excellent pressure from the top. Round three next. And here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Big round. Thank you very much, Ariane Celeste. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Oh! Kick to the face! Man, has his chin been tested early. Oh, very nice. These strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really. Oh, he's hurt to the body. Body kick, look at that. Big straight punch. Nice takedown. Oh, Bob Mercier's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broke. Oh, he's got an arm bar. He's in full mount here, and he's looking for the arm bar. What he wants to do is, first thing he wants to do is secure the arm, tie it, and he got his arm loose. He's looking to take the back. Excellent movement here on the ground. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Good shot to the body. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Big punch from the bottom. He's now working from side control again. Fifteen seconds. Moves to north-south. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Bob Mercier. And that'll do it. Fifteen minutes in the books. And here's a nice shot lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Amazing highlights from that round. Nice work that round. Your striking looks awesome. Let's keep that up. Ariane Celeste is with us. Fourth 
round now. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. He's definitely going to want to start this round off fast to try to pick up where he left off. His opponent was in big trouble at the end of that round. Kick to the head. He slips to avoid the round. Just misses there with the left. Oh! Looks like he's got a submission locked up. He got it out of the triangle. Oh, ground and pound elbow to the head. Nicely done to posture up and then land with full power. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. He's gonna try to take the back, I think. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. He's landing some serious ground and pound strikes here. Working from full guard here. Remaining active here in his pursuit of the submission. Another attempt here. He's looking for the triangle choke here. What he wants to do is first he's going to push his hand to his chest, then throw the leg over the shoulder. Once he's got that, he's going to pull down on his shin, throw the other leg over the ankle, pull the knee down over the ankle, push his arm across his... Oh, and my God! Is. He got the choke for the tap. So, yeah, it came down to tap out or go to sleep, and his opponent chose the former. The choke was clearly sunk in deep. Perfect technique, and ultimately, that is one of the bigger wins of his career. He gets it done by submission here tonight. And one more time, beautiful technique here on this triangle for the victory. And one more time, nice technique here on this submission. So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. Near perfect execution tonight. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop for this contest. At two minutes, 52 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by tap out, Israel! So another step in the right direction for the last style bender, New Zealand's Israel.